to Blondie Pink Live. I'm your girl rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, comedian, actress, civil rights leader, Michelle Hawuka. Yeah, sometimes I do my, my shadow, <laughs> my wall videos when I'm not dressed or for other reasons, but anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. So today, while this was on my mind, I, I really believe in creative juices flowing. That's one of the things between God, the Holy Spirit flowing, in the name of Jesus. Those of you all that are Christians know what I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. If you're not a Christian, I tell you now, ask God to come into your life. All you got to do is say, God, I want to have a relationship with you. And bam, boom, you got that relationship with Jesus Christ. And I'm talking about God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. You got to say what God you. Because <laughs> so you talk about the government of God. Is you too. That is not the same guy I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm comedian Michelle Walker as well. So again, welcome to Blondie Pink Life. So again, yeah, then I believe in, you know, when the creative juices are flowing, you know, however way you need to get it out, just get it out where they're flowing, you know. Because I don't know if you ever had an idea to come to your mind and you don't write it, if you don't write it down or if you don't go ahead and get it out there in some form or way, you'll forget about it. And you, and you cannot get that same, especially when it comes to music sometimes, you don't get that same beat in your head back you don't get the same lyrics flowing the way they were flowing so yeah i'm real good on that when them creative juices is flowing that's what i call creative juices flowing i'm like i gotta get this out i gotta get it out in the form that is flowing in at that point but anyway so creative juice is flowing so one thing i just wanted to get out here and just talk well, bloody pink light that's what this is y'all dealing with me and some i'm telling you all and i'd be like what I do not want you. I don't even like you like that. I am just trying to work with you. I'm just trying to work with you, sir. I'm <laughs> and again, thank you to the men that work with women that are not caught up on if the girl liked them or not and, and not so busy trying to front for us that they can't work with us, you know, and, and work with us us and not us I always got to work for them i am not your secretary i don't know how many times <laughs> i've had ideas and i'm doing stuff and people try to make you their secretary try, i'm like no that, no 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 that's not what i was asking <laughs> now get me wrong i don't mind assisting people when it's something that i feel like i want to and you feel strongly about that i want to help they already doing it so i want to help in whatever way that i can on you know but uh, especially when we talk about this music industry and Blondie Pink is my rap singing name, you know, so this show Blondie Pink is a lot about the music part of me, you know, um, and Blondie Pink life and being an artist and, and things like that, right? You know, so sometimes when you're trying to reach out, you know, to men that, and, and the reason you reach out to men because they're the head of that company or they're the one in charge of this or that. But I noticed as a woman, which I've noticed this all throughout my years as a music artist, um, and even as a comedian and actress, you know, really any form, whatever job you work, you probably have noticed, you know, you trying to do business and they either think you like them and running from you because maybe they married or they got somebody in their life or they just don't like you. And that's fine. I don't need you to like me intimately. I'm just trying to work with you. Or either they do like you or they're attracted to you. And I guess that scares them. So then they're running from you because they, they're scared of being around you. Because they, stop it. Stop it. I just want to work with you. I don't care about no intimate relationship with you. That's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I understand when people work together, they get to know each other. And it may be something in the future for somebody for that. But for me, I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get out and get this music out. Feed the people, as I'm saying. Feed the people. <laughs> Feed the people the music. <laughs> I know I excel it, y'all. I'm your girl, rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, and you are listening to and watching the Blondie Pink Life Show. Welcome to the Blondie Pink Life Show. <laughs> ah, anyway, it makes sense. But yeah, so, you know, how do you handle it? I don't know, because I'm still trying to figure out myself. Basically, you know, to me, too, whoever God have you to work with, the doors are going to open. Y'all going to connect in some form or way. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand because I'm real good at if I see that I want to work with somebody, somebody come to my spirit, somebody, I approach the person. I'm not afraid. I don't sit and wait for this or wait for that, you know, because each moment is a blessing. We don't know if we're going to be alive next day. I remember I was in a sermon of Creflo Dollar down at World Changers when I lived in Atlanta and I used to go to World Changers Church. And I never always will remember when Creflo, and I don't know if that was at the service he said or mine, because I'll be watching him sometime on TV too. But one of those times um, he had talked about when God puts something in your spirit, you need to go ahead and do that then. You don't even know. You might not even be in your right mind tomorrow. <laughs> now, I pray in the name of Jesus you are, but I'm just saying that's what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, even in the Bible, it talks about that. 
you know, uh, what's that, Hebrews 4 maybe? I don't know, like, it, it's Pastor Torre Roberts say, read the whole Bible and you'll find it. <laughs> I love what he said because he's trying to encourage people to read their Bible, right? Y'all know I'm a Christian, so yes, I talk about God. It's just all blended in me. It's just, but everything is blended, you know, this thing where I separate this for this and separate, no, there's no separation. I'm all in. I mean, it's all in me, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, so um, anyway, it, it talks about, you know, when God brings things to your spirit, don't harden your heart. Do it. There's a reason. And there is timings on things. There's timings on things. When God is, is telling you to do A or B, you want to go ahead and you want to do that then. I know sometimes you're like, oh, I can wait and I can do it next time. I can. No, no. If it's on your mind like that right now, if that person is on your mind like that right now, or to do that task is on your mind, you need to go on and step on into that and do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, you all. I don't say, well, I want to wait till I get it right. Well, y'all, nobody is perfect. Um, what they call it, sometimes that's a perfectionist uh, type thing that you don't want to do nothing unless you do it perfect. Well, nobody is perfect, and you may not do it perfect all the time. I, 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 don't, I, I don't do stuff perfect all the time. I don't even worry about if I do it perfect. A lot of times I'm just trying to get it out. When I get a song out, I am not concerned on if the song is perfect um, according to certain people. You know what I'm saying? I just get it out. I get it out the way that... It, I want to get it out of the way it just needs to come out because I feel like too sometimes somebody needs to hear that song. You know, uh, this music is a form of ministry. You know what I'm saying? Um, so people need to hear, you know. So whatever it is, your task that comes to your mind or whatever you need to do or call somebody, whatever. You don't know how many times I've heard other people say it and it happened to me before too. You know, God put somebody in your spirit to call them by the time you broke down and called and the person had passed away and you're like, oh my gosh. You know, if you just, so timing, timing, timing. You know what I'm saying? So back though to try and work with these men they always want to act like not <laughs> it's not a lot of them you only it's a lot of one in a few you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying you know you just be like you know you're trying to reach out to them to work with them you know and and sometimes they be thinking of other stuff but there's only because you're a woman that they think that and that's where the injustice comes in because y'all know i'm that civil rights leader as well michelle hope walker civil rights leader y'all know that's right you know that'd be that injustice you know that'd be that unfair treatment because you see all the boys get together they making deals they clapping hands they da 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 da, da and now we hear about they was doing much, do, do. but anyway anyway <laughs> Anyway, so you, you're the woman and you just trying to, you trying to clap hands and make the, now you ain't trying to do that other stuff you found out they be doing through, but you trying to at least make the deals just like they do. You know what I'm saying? Let me in the boys club. I'm a girl, but let me in the boys club. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, supposed to be a boys and girls club. I worked for the boys and girls club for years, you all, in the boys and girls club movement. Shout out to Atlanta boys and girls club. I worked at the, um. The corporate office there, um, the head headquarter office, shout out to our Boys and Girls Club in Metro Atlanta, shout out to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Atlanta because I did the programming so I would go and visit the different clubs and help to make sure the logistics of the grants and everything was flowing. And then I did my Hope Records, um, y'all know that's my organization, Hope Records, where I help to keep kids in school and away from drugs and alcohol through the music and arts and bring unity, you know, and reduce teen pregnancy. Um, um, through my organization, Hope Records, which I still do today. Um, and so that's a blessing. And so when I would team up with the boys and girls, particular boys and girls club, they would be my BGC all-stars. Um, yeah, so that's BGC all-stars is my, <laughs> is my, sometimes I see people would have tapped like, no, no, you're not BGC. No, I started BGC. That's another thing. People would just dive in and take women's ownership. We own the idea and the intellectual concept and they would just jump in and take it away from us. Like we don't even matter. Like, oh, forget it. Don't nobody know her. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> no, you're not going to steal my stuff because I got a mouth and I will open it and I'll let them know. And I got dates. <laughs> I take pictures of everything. I got dates, paperwork. I'd be like, hold up, let me find this paperwork of the date I started this. Nay. <laughs> oh, I'm your girl, comedian Michelle Hope Walker. You are watching the Blondie Pink Live Show. Um, so, yeah, so women watch your intellectual property because men are good to just chime in. Not just me, anybody good just chime in and hear our ID and take it and run with it. I told y'all about my music, my music, where my money, yeah. Where my money, yeah. Uh, 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 where my money, yeah. Child support, uh, child support, hey, child support, uh, because that's how I first started out when it came with it. I was thinking about that child support that them daddies owed me when my kids was little. Because <laughs> I've been doing music all my life, right? And so, you know, next thing I know, somebody tell me, I uh, said, so tell me, get in the booth. We want to go and see what you got. And so I, I just happened to pull that out, right? Where my money, yeah. Where my money, yeah. 
And I didn't realize that, cause you know, a lot of time I be at home listening to Christian music and stuff. You know, but I hear other music stuff when I'm out and about. Now sometimes I, I tend to listen more to, you know, keep up with the billboards and different things like that, you know, type music and stuff like that. And I've been listening to other people's music, you know, a lot of different things like that, right? But by this time, I didn't really have some someone I'm hearing some somebody money yet and duh, you know, and it's a it's a, that's a big name, celebrity. Well we all big names, so I'm just saying that's another person, right? You know, and I got to thinking, and then when I start reading about how this celebrity who had me go in the booth to record whatever I just had, write songs and sell them to folks. And I'm like, this person, this dude and took my song, put somebody else's name on it, rearranged it. <laughs> And now gave it to somebody else. See, they'll do that. When they figure, oh, don't nobody know this person that much. So they'll take your intellectual property and feel like they hate they, they, and feel like I guess sometimes they even feel like if you sue them that they feel like they have more money to fight the battle. You know, and they'll just take your intellectual property and go about to make all kinds of money. I'll be like, half that song is my it's my music. It's my music. Reread my music. It's my music. It's my I want at least want my percentage off of it because I created the concept. But anyway. <laughs> So, women, we got to be careful. Women, music artists, we've got to be careful. No matter what job, you got to be careful because them folks will steal your stuff and not think twice about you, okay? Um, so, again, but the, you know, one of the key steps I was talking these men, men, stop, stop, stop. We're just trying to work with you. Ain't nobody trying to get with you. I'm not trying to sleep with you. Uh, I, you know, you can have your wife. Matter of fact, I like when y'all got a wife or girlfriend. You, you do, do your thing, you know, because then maybe you won't be trying to talk to me. <laughs> Because it's like you get the either or. You get the ones that's running because they think you're trying to get. Or you get the ones that's running to you because they want to try to get with you. But see, then they're not good either because they don't want to do the work. They just want to get with you. Well, hey, let's go. No, no, music, music. Remember, I, I, I contacted you. Remember, I, I contacted you about music. Remember that? Or do you remember the music? Music is not a cold word for someone. When I say I want to do music with you, that's really what I want to do with you is music. Music is not. Uh, music is not a cold word for anything else no sir it's not it's not a cold word for anything no sir no ma'am because actually these days we got to watch both right okay no ma'am no sir it, it's not cold for anything music m-u-s-i-c that's really what i wanted to work with you on <laughs> oh my gosh i know recently you know i think these people they, they get me you know they put out here on how they work with everybody and they do this and that. Then you walk up on them and you see them. They get scared and they, you know. So that also goes back into the racism when you're a black woman. Because now, now we know you can be not a black woman and get into everything. Shouts out to y'all going to do y'all thing, girls. Do it, girls. Do it, girls. Ain't nobody hating. I'm like, girl, celebrate me. You better go, girl. But with us black women, like I tell y'all, even sometimes when we just walk on the scene, folks suspicious, folks looking, folks trying to figure out know, who she is, what she doing, who she here with, what's going on. Like, we got to be here with somebody. A man can walk up on the scene, just be by himself and be cool. When we walk on the scene, they got to figure we with somebody. No, I'm, I'm, I'm bold. I'm self-esteem. I know who I am. I can walk up on the scene by myself. I don't need to have no co-sign of it when I walk up in here. <laughs> Oh my lord, because it's just ridiculous on how sometimes they would just treat women, especially black women, and just, and just be re so ridiculous that it's hilarious and funny. Not when you're experiencing it, but when you think about it later, you're like, hey, just because I was a black woman, they see me as suspicious or a threat or, or all this other stuff. No, Y'all doing music, ain't you? Didn't you say you do? Isn't this a music conference? Aren't you doing music? <laughs> well, duh, that's what I came here for. <laughs> Oh my God. And so they be, you know, online and I don't think you talking about, yeah, I work with everybody. And then you run up on them in person. You know, I can say, well, because I'm very respectful, kindly talk to them. They act like they're scared. They act like they don't really want to talk. They act like you're trying to get with them and you talking to them about music. You haven't asked them about who they go with and you ain't asked them no intimate questions, but yet, or either they just running and you just like, and I don't run out because I'm like, look, if God wanted me to work with you, it, it, we would be coming together. You know, not again. Sometimes God's like, okay, we'll try to be the first reach out. And I will. I, I will do, you know, due diligence, you know, on whatever, you know. But then it comes to a part that, you know, you love yourself. And when you love yourself, I'm like, look, I'm not going to keep on reaching out for you. And you don't seem like you, you don't, there's more people that do music than you. I'm trying to bless you, actually, because this gift that I got, me and you getting together to do this gift, I'm telling you, that's a blessing. You just, God can bring all kinds of stuff up out of that. Bless both of us and then bless every hearer and listener to this music. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in a contest. So I ain't talking about that, y'all. Because <laughs> the contest, that's a contest. You know, they picking and choosing and the voting. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about sometimes these other artists that you just out here. 
<laughs> you know, uh, you know, meeting and happen to see and you're like, hey, you know, and, you know. Now, I love the ones that when you, you know, you go up to date, be like, what's up, sister? What, what's up? Look, tell me about what's going on. So sometimes that concept, I'm still like, oh, but you're not hearing me. You some more into the black things. I'm trying to talk to you about music. And I do appreciate you being nice. I like that you've been nice, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but I, the music, the music. So it's sometimes so hard for us black women as music artists to just talk to people, to be able to network with them about our music. Because either one, they're running from us because maybe they're not attracted to us or maybe they got a girlfriend or a wife and they're um, attracted to us or they're scared to be around us because they think, I guess, they think we're going to try to do something. I don't know, but I'm not trying to do nothing to you. I don't want you. Not in that intimate way. I want your music with you, but I don't want you in an intimate way. No. You know what I'm saying? You know, matter of fact, I like when wives, I like when wives and girlfriends are around. Don't bother me. As long as the wife and the girlfriend is, is fair and not always looking at you like you're trying to get that man. Because I'm like, I don't want your man. And I'm trying to do music and you are interfering with us doing music because of your negative thoughts <laughs> wife or girlfriend and you know i'm not saying every wife and girlfriend is like that you know i'm just saying when they're present in the room or doing stuff you know sometimes yeah you know you gotta you know but a lot of them they're used to their man you know working with different people and they're cool with it you know sometimes they don't even worry about being in the room because they trust their man you know what i'm saying and no one's trying to get your man at least blondie pink ain't trying to get your man i'm not i'm just doing music to feed the people that is the goal for blondie pink <laughs> music to make music, to feed the people, get on these stages, perform. I love performing. I love reaching out to people and talking even in between the songs to encourage the people. My songs are encouraged. A lot of my songs are self-empowerment songs. Talking about loving yourself. Talking about you're pretty. Talking about, you know what I'm saying? Talking about go after it and do it. You know what I'm saying? Then I just like them dance songs. We just twerking, girl. Act, twerk, twerk. Get it, get it, twerk, twerk. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. Yeah, but I'm just like, we got to pray for these men. So, man if you're listening be more open understand that when women come and talk to you about music you know or let god lead you because a lot of times god can read other people mail for you you know what i'm saying so if someone's coming up to you and they saying one thing but maybe they are really trying to be on some type of intimate thing you know whatever god will let you know god is a good discerner oh man i follow god oh, oh so deeply you know because god is a discerning the bible talk about god's a discerning of spirits god will let you be able to discern the difference between good and evil you know what I'm saying? So even when a person is saying something, it sounds like they're talking a good game, but then they something else, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm finding out. I was around a lot of people that talked a good game. I didn't even know what was going on behind the scenes, y'all. But God done blessed me and watched over me. I didn't get caught up in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Won't he watch over me and take care? You won't he do it? But anyway, <laughs> this is your girl rapper, singer, Blindy Pink, and this is Blindy Pink Live Show. But um, so me and you know, um, and just everybody, you know, people walk up on you about you know, music, even at least that opportunity. You know, unless you're feeling something not right, you know. Now, I feel like you should feel nothing wrong in relation to me because I'm a good person, pure spirit. And I ain't trying to do nothing wrong to you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I ain't trying to work with everybody. You know, it's just certain people that I feel might feel more drawn to than I do others, you know. Um, and it's not saying nothing bad about people who I don't feel drawn to. It's just, you know, maybe it's not, we're not supposed to be just doing stuff together, whatever. But um, so I'm just, you know, talking about, you know, when we see you all, us black women, and this music woman, we're black artists. We do music too. So when we're coming up saying, hey, let me network. Let me get a business card. Let's get some phone number exchange. Let's get an email exchange. Whichever one you feel comfortable with social media. You know, because I always go, but now I'm a phone person. Truly, I am a phone person. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, you know, so I know for sure who I'm talking to. Sometimes email, you don't know if the email really came from the person or if it came from somebody else. The social media website, you don't know if they got somebody working, um, doing their social media for them or if you're really talking to a person. There's so many of these fake accounts, you know, you just don't know sometimes. So I'm a phone person. I'm just still a phone person, you know, was talk and really I'm an in-person person. We can just meet up with some coffee or a park. I love me some parks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Public places, though, public places, you know, and talk and, you know, hey, this is what you, okay, that's what you're doing, you know, or whatever the case might be, you know, but, um, and, and I'd say even just at that moment talking, you know, but not running from black mu women, not running from black women who are music artists, because you're afraid of a black woman music artist, we have a black woman music artist isn't done to you, or because you think she's trying to get with you intimately and... At least I'm not. I'm just trying to talk to you about music. If I tell you I'm trying to talk about music, that's what I'm trying to talk to you about. Because <laughs> if there's something else, I just tell you, hey, you look good. Da, da, da. But in most cases, I'm not. Because my mindset is not even there right now. 
<laughs> I'm on music. I'm on music. That's my love, right? Music. God, my family. God, me, my family, and me, music. Okay, <laughs> music. Um, in my community, different things like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, so yeah. So that just be the challenges out here. This is Blondie Pink Live Show. So, um, yeah, sometimes it just be challenging, y'all, just out here networking and trying to get with people. And even online, you know, sometimes trying to network or, you know, um, or different things like that. You just be like, wow, you know. And especially when then you see somebody come up who is not a black woman and they just eat them up. They ready to just do everything with them. And you're like, and then you can see the game in that person. The, the, who is really trying to run some game over, right? But you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, they treat you like you're second class, you know? <laughs> you know, you're like, well, okay, well, well, go ahead. You know, so that that's always the one that gets you. When you're like, this person just treated me like I was just the worst and I was nothing but nice to this person. You know, I got straight to the point of, hey, when the music put you on, da da da, da. you know, because that's just me. It's straight to the point. I don't need to jazz around and act like this. No, it's straight to the point. This is what we do. We ain't got time. You know? <laughs> I ain't got time to be trying to, you know, this and that. You know, I ain't trying to date you. I just want to do music with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I tell you what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean, not like that. Like a person, well, what does you need me to do? And I've heard a person exact talk about, you know, already have in mind, what is it you want to do with that person? I don't have time to just you hang around for just let you, what do you want to do? And then y'all start mapping and planning. <laughs> you know, so when you didn't, you know, been as professional and respectful as you possibly could with the person and and then the person treats you like crap and then someone of another race comes up and they mm, you a woman so a woman a woman you know she got some game she about to run right not all of them i'm just saying some of you so again i love all my women no matter what race and all, all my folks you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying and then they just when i say eat them up that's what the kids say i mean they just as nice to her just as kind to her well what can i help you with? well come on let me give you the and you just be looking like <laughs> I try not to talk about people and call people up, but sometimes I will. <laughs> but I'll be like, you little racist. And this is a black person sometimes. This can be a black artist or this could be a black producer or it could be somebody black, you know, in the industry, music, entertainment industry. And you just like, and that's why I be telling me, that's why I be telling all my folks, when we be talking about racism, we are not just talking about racism of other races who are not black being racist against black people, but we are also talking about our own black people being racist against other black people or even people who are black, like Africans or just other cultural people who are the same color as us but are still racist towards black people. And to me, that's a prime example of being racist because she is no different than me. We both talking out. She actually trying to get with you and, and playing a little role, but you eating that up. You know, <laughs> you fall right into the hands of that. You know, what I'm and I'm trying to be professional, keep it, you know, and you won't give me the time of the day to even listen. Or you, <laughs> it's like okay, all right then, all right. But like I said, for me, your girl Blondie Pink, I'm like okay. Well, God, I give it to you because you know. In the Bible, Proverbs said it wants to open your mouth. All I can do is open my mouth, tell you what it is. I feel like you don't want to try to work with you when we try to get, you know. But, you know, and then, especially when I see something like that right in front of my face, I feel disrespected. I feel disrespected. <laughs> I feel like, no, you didn't. <laughs> but again, you know, I'm a Christian, so I still love them and keep it going, you know. Because then sometimes you'll see these same people over and over again. And after they keep seeing you, they'll start coming up to you and, you know. But it's just still be that initial point that you just still sort of be in your mind on you and you're going to work it up, right? Because, you know, how many other people have they treated like that? And that's not right. And the only reason they treated you like that because you was a black woman, you know. And us black women have many styles. So I don't care if you don't like my hair. I don't care if you don't like what hairstyle I have. I don't. I don't care. I'm a nice person. I'm not a bad person. And I was very legit coming to you, professional and everything. And because for whatever reason, you know, I don't know, you know, you treated me like crap. I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> but again, we have a lot of people out here of all races treating black women awesome. Black women. And again, this is more about, I'm talking about music artists as black women, music artists. Um, you know, so out here in this world, period, y'all know I got to show racism against black women. Y'all go watch that on YouTube. YouTube, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, 6547. You can go watch that. Um, you know, and just talks about what I've seen other people experience, black women experience, or either what I'm experiencing in real time sometimes. Because it's a docu-series, so it's ongoing. Y'all know what we experience every day, black women. But, um, 
you know, but now when we go to the levels of black women already experienced also now when we go to the level of where black women music artists, we are being extra judged. You know what I'm saying? I mean, extra, extra, extra judged, you know, um, our hairstyle or our style or, or this or that, you know, more judged than women who are not black. I feel, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's always interesting, to me. but it doesn't stop us. You know, don't stop me. Y'all know I stay up in this game doing the thing. Yeah, y'all do. Anyway, y'all so i'm your girl rapper singer blondie pink so it's just some tips for the day in the blondie pink life hey blondie pink gonna be blondie pink hey no matter what they think about me hey blondie pink gonna be blondie pink hey no matter what they think about me hey i love me i love me i love me Blondie Pink, hey, Blondie Pink, hey. That's like my running theme song, y'all. <laughs> All right, now y'all go on out there and vote now. Now, no. Nah. Reminds me of talking like Jennifer Hudson, doesn't it? <laughs> Jennifer Craig. Hey, I'm from now, outside Chicago, too. I'm from that Chicago, yeah, Illinois here. We all from Illinois. But Jennifer, be watching Jennifer Hudson. So shout out Jennifer Hudson. I'll be watching my Sherry, too. And i be watching my Tamara Hall. I'll watch all my girls. Uh, Tamara Hall out here in LA came up on me. Yeah, we're in an in person thing. Yeah, it was such a good video. You got to watch that. That's on my Instagram live. Uh, I'm there on my Instagram live live with Tamron Hall and uh, of course taking a picture with Sherry and got a chance to talk to my J-Hud and she was going into uh what was you going into J-Hud the Emmy uh-huh the Emmy uh show uh-huh here in LA but anyway y'all so y'all going to vote now now and they say that Jennifer Hudson doesn't be talking about now y'all y'all gone <laughs> anyway so I'm your girl rapper singer Blondie Pink so go to orbit.com and put in Michelle Hope Walker in the search Get on my page. You can go all through all the way down and you'll see that free vote. I need your vote, y'all. I'm in this contest. This Orbit contest. I want that master music session with Scott Storch, who has been with everybody. And I like how Scott, he's been with black women as musically. You know what I'm saying? He's worked with a lot of black women, you know, musically. So I feel good about that, you know. Um, I haven't found a quote on his thing that, that one time when we was going through all that stuff where he talked about Black Lives Matter. Yes, I, I see you, Scott Storch. I see you both. I uh, see ya. And uh, I'm back to silly, y'all. But anyway, so I'm your girl, rapper, singer, Blondie Pink. Y'all know I want to win, so y'all got to keep voting for me. Remember, you have to vote over and over again. Each round, when you hear me say, okay, I made it through this round, new round, vote again. You got to keep voting. So I know y'all like this girl. And I'm... <laughs> Believe me, you thank you so much. I, I thank you and I appreciate you so much. But please keep voting, keep voting, 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 voting. and more votes. Help me win. All right, y'all. So I'm your girl, rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, and you have been watching and listening to Blondie Pink Live. And today is October fifth, twenty twenty four, y'all. It's October 5th. Keep living your best life, you all. Doing what it is you feel led you're supposed to do. Because you know, Blondie Pink, don't be Blondie Pink. Hey, no matter what you think about me, hey.